Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Good morning. It is day number 46 of being in quarantine. It is time to get out of bed and let's start the day. Whew. Yes, as you have seen in today's YouTube title, I am going to be taking you on a full day with me in quarantine. So first things first to start my day, I've got to have a cup of coffee. So let's head on over to the kitchen and let's have our first cup of coffee of the day. Come on. All right, yes, you guys. So before quarantine, we need to talk, come a little bit closer. Um, this is my cappuccino maker. I love cappuccinos. Now, before quarantine, this is what I always used. Now I'm having to use my grandmother's coffee maker because I have run out of my pods for the uh, Nest Cafe because they are not an essential item. So I haven't been able to order any. So we're gonna have to just do basic coffee today. Um, this is what I, <laughs> she's back. This is what I drink my coffee from every single day. I love her. Um, so what I do for my coffee is I just take two sweet and low. Um, we're all about, you know, trying not to gain as much weight as possible. Speaking of uh, gaining weight, I've gained six pounds since quarantine. <laughs> Don't get me started. And then I pour this. This is my favorite coffee creamer. It's called Italian Sweet Cream. Oh my gosh, if you have not tried this, get, get yourself some today. All right, and I pour that amount and then we are good to go. Yes, ma'am. Oh. oh, girl, coffee makes me so happy. Just the smell of coffee makes me happy. I am a coffee lover. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. It's, it's all I can think about when I first wake up days. <laughs> oh. Now, some people, they love their weed. Some people love to drink um, alcohol and da 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 da. I love coffee. It's my drug. All right. Whew. All right. We have a full agenda for today, you guys, and I'm going to keep it really real with you. I haven't done shit for over a month and a half, but today, <laughs> we're not going to film me doing nothing. That would be pointless. So we have a full agenda today. So let's get started on um, number one, which is I always get my laptop and I sit down with my cup of coffee and just relax first thing of the day. All right, so yes, I like to come out here with my cup of coffee and my laptop and I like to sit down. By the way, we're at my grandmother's house. This is where I have been spending quarantine since day one. Um, <laughs> Look, Germex, we have Germex laying around in every single room of the house. <laughs> Keep your hands clean. Alrighty, so, yes, I like to come out here and I like to check up on my business emails. So let's see what we've got here today. Oh, <laughs> nothing, typical. So yeah, um, instead of that, I like to come out here and I like to watch a little bit of YouTube, you know, just to relax with my cup of coffee. So that's literally what I do, and I'll probably be doing this for like another hour <laughs> to keep it really real with you guys. Um, but I guess I can take this time to show you what I've been watching this past week. So let me show you. All right, so show number one that I binged in a day and absolutely loved, Outer Banks. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is number two trending in the United States. It is a phenomenal show. You have to go watch it on Netflix if you haven't already. So that is show number one. Show number two is called Ozark. Yes, there are three seasons of this. It's definitely a lot more intense of a show. It's pretty dark. Um, it has to do with like the mafia and there's a lot of government intertwined into it. Um, <laughs> it's pretty good though. It's a little bit more dark, but I highly recommend it. Sweetie. Um, I think I'm gonna go sun tanning and just relaxing. So let me change my outfit, put on a bathing suit and let's tan. Alrighty, yes. Oh, let's go. It is a gorgeous day here in North Carolina. Oh, yes. Whew. 
Now, by the way, do you like living next to a cemetery? <laughs> oh, gotta love it. So you guys, we are here in North Carolina. We are still under a stay at home order until May 8th. Um, our governor might push it even further. We don't know. Nobody knows what's going to happen. Um, do I think that it needs to be pushed back even further? I do. Um, I don't think it's, whoa, the wind. <laughs> I don't think it's quite time to go back to how things were um, before all this. I, I don't think it's safe. Um, but who knows what will happen, girl. Ooh. But it's important to take this time that we have been given to just sit back and relax and just take a deep breath. <sighs> so I'm gonna sit out here and get some vitamin D and I'm gonna uh, read up on my Gaga book by Terry Richardson. This is a phenomenal photo book that he did. And girl, it is hot out today, yes. Oh, whew. So I'll be back in a little bit. Okay. Whew, that's enough sun for one day, girl. You don't want to get too much sun, honey. It'll age you. Okay, so the next thing on the agenda for me is I need to hop onto the treadmill. We need to burn a little bit of, you know, fat because with having to stay in the house and indoors for almost two months now, honey, you're going to start gaining a little bit of weight. So luckily we have us a treadmill and a little bicycle right here in the garage slash my studio. So first, let me get my workout shoes on. Excuse me. Alrighty, let's get to work. Workout is over. Whew, I'm hungry, girl. Yes, let's go get something to eat. Well, thank you all so much for coming. Thank you, thank you. Oh, all right, everyone, it is time for cooking with Marshall Sharp. <laughs> now, I don't know why we're calling it cooking because we're not even cooking anything. We're actually just gonna be making a salad. Now, when it comes to salads, it's all about what you put in them. And I can make a fabulous salad. So I'm gonna teach you how I do it right now. Oh, I love me a good, healthy salad, honey. So, grab your greens, toss it into a fabulous little bowl here, and then, I like to start off with putting a little bit of turkey in my salad. What I do is I'll take a little piece and I'll just break it up apart and mix it in with the salad itself. Got to have a little bit of protein in there. Stay sharp. And then I'll add a little bit of tomatoes throughout the salad. Yes, honey. Add that little bit of red. Oh, looks so gorgeous. I like to add a little bit of cheese to my salad, of course. That's another source of protein. Just a little bit, boom. And then I even like to take some crispy fried onions and add it to the top of the salad. Just to decorate it even more and give it a little bit of crunch. Yes. And then I'll even add a little bit of mixed nuts to my salad. I love nuts. And then put a little bit of craisins, you know, some dried cranberries. These are really good for you. Gorgeous. And then to top things off, I like to add a little bit of garlic for seasoning. And I also like to add a little bit of sea salt to my salad. Boom. 
And then I like to top my salads with some homemade ranch dressing. And it has to be homemade because the store bought just ain't it, honey. So we have um, some ranch right here that we mixed up. We'll just add that to the top of the salad and then we'll give it a good mix. And she will be ready, honey, to be devoured. All right, so you guys, I'm hungry. It's lunchtime. Whew, after a good workout, get yourself a salad. All right. Mmm. Oh my God, that is so good. Whew. And then for dessert days, I'll grab this. This is my favorite dessert at the moment. Oh my gosh, and it's healthy for you. Come on. It's called dark chocolate thins. They are fabulous. And dark chocolate's actually really good for you. It has something in it that's good for your heart. And I'm all about it. Oh, look at this. It's like a little piece of chocolate that has, I think they're almonds, almonds in it. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that is so good. All right, you guys, so that's basically what I'll have for my lunch days. And it's time to move on with our day. So we cannot go an entire day without at least doing one photo shoot. <laughs> Not in my world, at least. Now, if you are new to this channel or you have just stumbled upon this video today, um, allow me to inform you that I am, in fact, a photographer. I've been doing photography now for five plus years and I love it so much. So we are going to do a photo series of three. I like doing my photo series in groups of at least three um, just due to Instagram itself. I, a lot of people are doing this now where they're doing groups of three because uh, it's the row and it looks very neat when it comes to Instagram and it makes your feed look very cohesive. So I also do it and I love doing it like that. Okay, so let me try to explain to you the photo shoot the best that I can. We are going to be taking a basic sketch pad and I've already gone ahead and painted the first example off camera. Um, we're gonna take paper and we are going to use three different tools. We're gonna to be using paint, a Sharpie, and also a pencil. And we're basically just gonna doodle onto some paper. We will then take a picture of whatever we create onto that paper, onto the sketch pad. And then we're gonna be doing a separate photo shoot with me modeling. <laughs> yes, I will be your model today. Now, normally I would have my models come to my house and we would work together. We're not gonna do that today because we are Still practicing social distancing, um, so I'm gonna be modeling. Um, I love, who says you have to just be the photographer? I love being behind the camera just as much as I love being in front of it. So yes, we're gonna be merging two different art forms together today. Illustration and photography combined with using Photoshop. So with all of that being said, let's get to shooting. All right, everyone, so it is officially time. We are going to do a quick photo shoot right now. Um, I just finished painting and drawing those sketch pads that I just showed you, and now we are going to take some pictures. I got my camera set up and everything. We've got our lights, we've got our backdrop, I've got my outfit for the photo, and we are going to later on take these pictures and Photoshop them onto the sketch pads. So I will show you guys the journey and how this all is gonna be created. Um, so, but first we got to start snapping away. So let's get my camera set up. We've got her on a tripod and I'm actually gonna have Nana take the pictures for me, but I'm getting it all set up for her. photo shoot we're on the last photo for the day uh, I just took my face paints you know from the last YouTube video I posted and I just doubled it around the eyes so let's do this last photo shoot come on
That's a wrap on the photo shoot. Let's get to editing. Come on. Alrighty, so it is officially time to start the editing process. So we've got our photos, they've been taken, and now I have put them into Lightroom. And it's time to work the magic. Now if you guys don't know Photoshop or Lightroom or anything like that, um, I'm not going to teach you it today. We might do a couple of Photoshop tutorials in the future. Let me know if that's something that you would be interested in. Leave me a comment down below and let me know. But today we're going to keep it really quick, really fast, and I'm going to show you how I am going to put everything together for the final result. So first things first, you're going to import all of your images into Lightroom, and then you're gonna do, well, I like to do, a few adjustments in Lightroom itself, like brightening, adding a little contrast, playing around with the, some of the hue and saturation, and sharpening up the image itself. I'll even go in and add a little bit of vignetting to the image, and then I will export it into Photoshop, where all the magic happens. Um, and then we're going to take the image of me, of my face, with all of the paint around my eyes, and then we are going to use the lasso tool to go around just my face, and then we're going to copy and paste it onto the image of the sketch pad in my hands, and bring them together, and then I will also erase all of the background gray that was behind my face um, so that it looks like my face is actually onto that sketch pad <laughs> and then I'm even gonna take my eraser and I'm just gonna erase around some of those paint strokes and place them onto my face to make it even look more realistic um, as if I am painting my face on this piece of paper and voila, there you go. That pretty much wraps it up uh, for this image in particular. Now there are two more, and if you would like to see those, head on over to my Instagram. The link will be down below. It will be featured on my personal Instagram, at the Marshall Sharp. If you would like to see more of my photography work, it is at Marshall Sharp, just my name, and you will get to see and view all of my work. So yes, that wraps it up with this portion of my day, and now it is time to move on. So let's go, girl. Marshall, you had promised that we'd get a cookout. You've been promising me two or three days. You want to go get a cookout milkshake? Yes, I've been wanting to do it for about a week. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go, honey. Okay, all right, we've got to hurry. All righty. Some time has passed, the sun is setting. Nana is wanting to go to cookout, so what Nana wants is what Nana will get. So let's head into the Cadillac and let's go get us a milkshake. I'm a v -I -V -E -O. Oh, goodbye house. <laughs> we are officially on the road, you guys. We have not left our house in over a month and a half, have we, Nana? Not together. Huh? <laughs> I forgot what the highway looks like. I, oh, I forgot how to drive. It's gonna straight to reject them. I'll make my snake old transactions and dip my papers and stack them. Oh, hi, vlogging. <laughs> Alrighty, so yes, we're off. We're gonna go get us a milkshake at Cookout. I don't know what flavor I'm in the mood for. They have so many flavors. I'm kind of thinking of like an. I'm thinking like an Oreo moment. I think that would be really cute. Nana, what kind of flavor are you into right now? I'm probably going to stick with good old chocolate. Chocolate? <laughs> I like the peach. Now the peach is good. I hear there's little pieces of peach in it. Ooh. Are you what? sure you don't want to try that? I don't know. I'll... We'll have to, we'll have to see. Yeah. We'll have to check out the uh, menu when we get there. You guys, we just, we actually, this is our first outing together since all of this, isn't it, Nana? Yes. We have not, we have been in that house. We have been doing what we've been told to do. We have been trying to stay as safe as possible, unlike a lot of you out there, but I won't get into that. <clears throat> uh, but yes, I am excited. Uh, I know that 
<laughs> I look like such a hypocrite right now because I have been working out today, eating salad, trying to stay healthy, and here we are going to go get a milkshake. But he's been promising to do this with me for a month. <laughs> yeah. About a month. Yeah. <laughs> Nana has been dying for a milkshake from cookout for whatever reason. So, and this cookout is actually brand new to our area. It's in Moorhead City, North Carolina, and we are about to go devour it. What kind do we want now? We'll get us two chocolates and... Uh... Honey, let's get up there and look at the menu. Cappuccino? Oh my god. Oreo mint? Oreo. I think I want to do... I want to do Oreo. Oreo. Okay. Okay, tell her we're ready. We're ready. Hello? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what can I get for you? Uh, we would like two chocolate milkshakes and one uh, Oreo milkshake. Yes. Now, Nana, I'm surprised that you're getting anything out of that straw. I couldn't. No, oh, it's not being easy. I feel like my head's caved in. <laughs> How is it? They're almost too thick. Too thick? It's good. I love it. I've never said that before. But I've had to break out the spoon, y'all. But I got Oreo, and it is so good. There's literal Oreo cookies in the damn thing, but it is good. It has been a day, hasn't it? Oh my gosh. Okay, so we we're, got back from cookout, threw on my robe again, and it's time to end the day. All right, so last thing that I'm gonna do with you guys before I call it a day, I'm going to get out of this makeup. We're gonna de-drag <laughs> um, because I have been in drag all day long, basically. Um, so let's go ahead and take this wig off. Ooh. Oh. All right, and then I'm gonna take my lashes off. You ready? Oh, boom. I have literally done like four or five different makeup looks today. It's been insane. Oh, but it's been fun. I'm glad that we did this, you guys. Just a day in quarantine. So we're just gonna take all this shit off. All right, sweeties, my face is clean, makeup is officially off, Whew. I feel reborn. And now I'm going to hop into the shower real quick, and I'll be right out, and we will say our goodbyes, we will film this outro, and call it a day. All right, B.I.B. Whew, all right. We are fresh out of the shower, all cleaned up, and ready for bed. Ooh, honey, I'm exhausted. Nana, are you tired? <laughs> what are we gonna do tomorrow? Absolutely nothing. All right, so we happened to accomplish everything that was on the agenda for today, and I'm actually shocked that we did. Ooh, I've done more today than what I've done in two months. But our time has officially run out. I must bid you farewell. It's time for you to get the hell out of my house. So if you enjoyed today's YouTube video, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Leave me a little comment down below. Follow me on all my social medias and I'll see you on the next one. Remember to stay safe, stay smart, and stay sharp. Mwah. Bye guys.